lots of plants. Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. So I got a bunch of plants in from Han Aquatics just the other day. It's actually been about two or three weeks since I got them. It's just taken me this long to get the video out to you because everything has been going on. But anyway, I thought this would be a good reference for you guys to get to know some of the different plants that are out there. Uh, a lot of rarities, some are common, not many are common, and a little bit of color for this, that, and everything. So enough of me rambling on about it, but let's get to it. And all these plants are going to be tried and QT'd with no CO2 as well. All right, all right. I'm pretty excited about this. 40 plus some plants. I think it was like 48 or something like that. And this thing is taped up really good. in a box. Lots of tape. It's been a while since I've actually ordered plants too. And me and Han go way back. I remember when I was on plantedtape.net which is an old forum. And I used to sell extra plants that were in my tank to help fuel my hobby and Han used I used to collect a lot of rarities and then Han started buying a lot of my rarities I took a hiatus for a little while about four years and well maybe about two or three I can't remember but he ended up getting pretty big and made quite the name for himself and now he keeps a ton of variety of plants. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Finally got it unsealed. This thing was like Fort Knox. Alright, so let's see here. I'm sure that's the uh, receipt. Oh yeah, here, a whole list. So here's the list of what I got. All these types. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hey man, I shouldn't have passed besides snows, but you never know, so I would prepare for peace of mind. Thanks again, Han. Right on, hon. Because I left him a note. I just, it's nice to know. Have transparency. And you see, he even made a personal message. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Alright, threw me a bunch of Loki stuff. Let's see here. This is for shrimp. Hidden, no essay. Hidden, no essay. These are all special shrimp foods. All in one. Looks like he's got a ton of these. Ultra supple spiral. Ebby supple. I have to try some of these out. Ooh, a ton of stickers. I have to slap one of these up somewhere in the fish room. All right, now let's get to the plants here. And he did go ahead and label them all. Thank God. So here's the Rotalia Blood Red. Very nice. And see, this is why I like Han's plants too. This is the underwater form. This isn't emerged grown. This is actually submerged grown. So it's already in the water. It should transition really easily. Not like farm plants where you have to wait for them. So here's the S Reapens. Nice big little piece and I really only got like one or two of everything because I mean all I need is a little one to really get it going 
Uh, here's the, this one. This one is a little treat I gave myself. The Aguzo, I don't even know how to say that, 2009. This is like a little sword plant. And believe it or not, this plant's like, I don't know, like 120 bucks, something like that. And it's been expensive for a long time. It's one of those plants where it never went down in price. A lot of plants, they'll come out, they'll be real hot, real new for a while. Then they'll be super expensive, and then a couple of years they'll be cheaper. But not this one. This thing's been expensive for a long time. And it's kind of a neat plant. It has a lot, it has some different leaves. Nice growth to it though. Nice little plant, get it started. I'm gonna get it wrapped up before this halide light dries it up. But yeah, that was a nice little treat for me. I got at the end of my balance and I'm like, you know what? It was late at night too, like one of them three o'clock in the morning orders. And uh, yeah, I just, I said screw it and I did it. You only live once, why not? If I can get it to grow, then hey, awesome. But yeah, I had a little extra left, so I went and spent it and splurged on that plant. Most people would have waited to show that till the end, but I ain't got time for all that. You guys ain't got time for all that either, do you? I don't know. And this, I can't remember what this call, is called. This is the Rhinoculus Inodotus, a different kind of plant. I've never actually kept it. Like the S Reapins I've kept. Some of these plants I've kept. A lot of these plants I haven't kept. And here we have the... What is this? Bellum. Oh, I think this is the Lymphophilia Bellum. Looks like some extra stems too. Hooked it up. Nice portions for just buying one. Rotaya Walla Lychee. Walichi. There we go. This one's got more finer leaves to it. it spreads out real nice in the tank. And then here we have Rotala Vietnam. Another fine leaf one. I usually do good with Rotalias. And here we have, what is this? Oh, this is the Vesuvius. So this is the Echinodorus Vesuvius. Also known as Angustifolia. Interesting. And, and here I have the L Red. This is like a hybrid L Red. This is, I had a plant like this a long time ago. Did great in my hard water. So hopefully I can get it going again. I need more reds in my fish room. You can see how red that is. Super, super duper red. And here we have a Marcellia. This is a Marcellia quadrifolia. These are nice big leaves. I recently got the Minuta from Gary Lang. From Gary Lang uh, a couple weeks back. And I wanted to try a couple of these out. Because I like it because you don't have to cut and trim it so much. Really at all. Oh, here's another special treat for me, too. This is the A-Flame Purple Knight. So this is a super rare sword plant. And you can see how red it is. Like, this thing's almost purple. That's a sword plant. Like, that's insane. Like, it's so red, it's almost black. Wow. Wow. That's nice. I'm excited about that. 
I'm gonna probably give this its own tank and just let it bust it out. Which I don't even know if they get that big, because not all swords do get big, but if it does, either way, it's probably gonna get its own tank. And here we have, what is this? S -S, the Synagonthius. Um, I'm not sure. What is this? Oh, this is the Synodontheus Syngonathias. This is the Lago Grande. Whatever that word is. Syngonathus. Syngonathus. Lago Grande. Different leaves. Kind of fine leaves, but still thick leaves. Which is different. Neat. And here we got, what is this? This is the Tonius. Oh. This is the Tonina Tocantins. Pretty neat plant. A little different. Now, I don't know how well these Tonias will do for me. I think they prefer softer water. But now I have soft water tanks. I can get away with it and we'll see. And this is Tropica. So this is the Rosette Dwarf Tropica. Also like a sword plant and it stays smaller I believe. I think it's like a sword plant. Looks like there's a bit in there. Hooking it up Han. Rotalia Mexicana has a redder stem so, to it and green leaves so it's got a nice color contrast really cool check that out this is gonna be awesome I'm excited about these plants a lot of you guys may not know but I really got into plants before I got into shrimp and fish and everything else I used to collect a bunch of rare ones and now that I got soft water I can collect even more so this is the Rotalia any more fine leaf gets real red and this is only like not even half of the plants I was wanting but they come and go out of stock this is the Rotalia rotundifolia little broader leaves green stem got a little color to them And this is the type, this is the type 4 Rotalia. Another colorful Rotalia. Lots of reds and oranges and pinks and stuff in all of these Rotalias. Yeah. <coughs> And I did get some Rotalias that were greenish too to give color contrast. So this is the Rotalia Bangladesh. Got a nice green to it. Ah, and here is the uh, Strigian Portovello. Which, this is pretty cool. This is uh, more of a bushy plant, stays mid-ground. Like most of these stems and rotalias and stuff, they can get huge. They can get as tall as your tank will go. I've seen them in aquariums, like big public aquariums, and they get huge. So, And this is... So this is the Pogo Kimberly. Almost looks like Lymphnophilia aromatica with the underneath of the leaves, but it is a lot different. And I guess this is a new foreground, supposedly new foreground plant people have been using. This is a Kombota Red, which just seemed really interesting. Let's see how this grows out. It looks like it gets some height to it. I don't know if people trim it down to get it as more foreground. Granted, it'll be a couple inches high, so it'll be a higher foreground. But could you imagine a foreground of a plant like this that's just bushy? Talk about a the perfect breeding 
place for any fish, really. And here we have the E. Ichihornia diversifolia. Different kind of plant, different kind of leaves, have a nice contrast of green. Looks like it's nice, thick, and hardy, so. Hopefully it does well. And here we have the Lymphnophilia bellum. And in here, we have, what is this? This is the, uh, uh, this is the Rotalia Yao Yang. Yao Yang. Look at the color on it already. All over, even in the stem. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Well, let's see. Keep on going here. What we got here? We got baby tears. Believe it or not, this is not even in my fish room yet. Like, this should have been in my fish room a long time ago. I love my pearl weed. And baby tears is a lot like it. Oh, look at this little baby plant. This is the Rotalia Pearl Mini. Rotalia Mini Pearl. Which is cool because it stays small, super tiny. So it's like a miniature, well, Rotalia. And it gets colorful like Rotalia's too. Now a lot of these plants do like fertilization. Some like CO2. Which I don't have CO2 hardly anywhere. But you know, as long as you're feeding them, you may be able to get away with it. And this is... Um, uh, Aereo Vietnam, which it looks like it's seen better days, but it's a nice thick piece and that's actually quite a few splits. I like four or five plants in that thing. Nice. And here. <clears throat> It's, it's kind of cool plant. I'm liking the leaves on this and the whole structure. This is a uh, Pogo Heidelberg. Nice thick stalk too. Super healthy looking. And I had to get some of this. Agrophilia pinnifatida. As you can see, you get it from a lot of places. It'll be like green, super green. That means it's grown in a farm. But look at this thing. Man, nice runners and everything. It's got a lot of color on it. People don't realize how colorful this plant can really get. Very, very cool and beautiful plant. Leaf structure, everything is cool about that plant. And here we have a Rotalia Singapore. So, oh, not the fanciest Rotalia. Nice green though, nice thicker leaves. Mm, let's see here, what's this one? Oh, this is the... Uh, this is the Lobelia Cardinal Nalius. Nice big thick bit of it too. Nice big piece. And last but not least, what do we got here? Rotalia green. And it's a nice little green plant. Another Rotalia. Rotalias grow really well for me, so I figured why not. So here's all the names again. Alright, so let's run down these again. This is Rotalia Blood Red. 
We have Rotalia Singapore. We have the Pogo Heidelberg. We have the Rotalia Green. The Aereo Vietnam. Mini Rotalia Pearl. Agrophilia Pinnafetida. The L. Cardinalis. Baby Tears. Rotalia Yayo. Lymphophilia Bellum. E. Diverfolia. Type 4 Rotalia. Rotalia Bangladesh. This is the S. Bellum. Pogo Kimberly. Rotalia Rotafundia. Rotalia Ro. Rotalia Ro. Rotalia Rundafundi Domba. Rotalia ro Rotundafolia. Rotalia Any. Rotalia Mexicana. Uh, the P. Tropica. The T. Ticanto. Ticantia. The Purple A. Flame Knight. Lymphophilia Red. Vesuvius. Rotalia Vietnam. Rotalia Wallalici. The S. Lago Grande. The super expensive plant sword. Agu Zabu Wabu. And the Renaculus. S. Repens. And the Marsilia Quadrifolia. The Sturigian Portavel. The Sturigian Portavelho. And the Cambodia Red. So. Now I gotta figure out what to do with all these plants. I think I can find room. I think I may even have room for some more. Granted different ones come in stock so if you're watching this Han let me know when your plants coming in out of stock because I know you have some that I want still out of all these even though I have this many I could always use more because that collectoritis is always harping at me Thank you for the plants, Han. Very much appreciated. And he didn't promo this or anything for me. I bought all these online. But thank you, Han. I appreciate it. Alright, so there you go. There's a bunch of different plants. I'm kind of exhausted. I just got done dealing with a busted tank. Busted leak out on me again. I was shooting footage of it while I was doing that, and that's actually what I did right before this intro, or outro. And yeah, I will have that out for you guys on my, what I do whenever a tank busts down on me. Some tricks and tips to kind of help you get it taken care of, and all that jazz. So, hope you guys learned something, hope you guys enjoyed, and always, until next time, peace.